Ashes of Creation, the upcoming MMORPG by Intrepid Studios, showed off their weather effects in Unreal Engine 5, which is an absolutely stunning engine, by the way. They are talking about doing seasonal weather, which things like accumulation of snow to some degree in the winter, a bit more rain and the rain actually accumulating as well, leading into spring and hot summery days. And you want to hang in here with me for a minute because it's so much more than just in visual scope. Going for seasons is a very nice touch to add some massive immersion into Ashes of Creation. And according to the report, it will be something testers will see, be able to experience for themselves when Alpha 2 is ready for testing. Now, Ashes of Creation needs very little introduction. It is being heralded along with my favorite, Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, as being a possible savior to the MMORPG genre. A genre which has had a rough decade, to be honest, and could certainly use Ashes of Creation or Pantheon Rise of the Fallen to make major waves. Now, before we dive into the weather and season system in Ashes of Creation, I want to real quick explain that the entire premise for Ashes of Creation is that it wants each server to feel completely different with its node-based system, and the seasons are a bit off on each server as well, as in staggered times for each server at launch, and that too will cause some amazing effects. Also, server events, things triggered by the players themselves, can change the season for that area, and they went in to talk about certain relics could do that, or a dragon. You know, things triggered by the players themselves can change the season for that area, and we'll get more into that in a bit, but overall, it can give this bizarre, this place is different on this server type of vibe. Now, you are looking at the trailer that was just released from Intrepid Studios regarding their seasonal weather effects for Alpha 2 and Ashes of Creation, and they, it wasn't just a trailer, they actually played in the world and, and kind of did that live to kind of show that this isn't just a cinematic trailer. And the area that you're seeing is known as the Riverlands. Not all areas in the world will have all four seasons, but this place does. So they showed it off by switching to different seasons in these clips. Now, the name of the game here is Immersion. That is why their design team is implementing seasons with weather that matches the seasons. Now, this can be used just as much as a story element for them too. A big ice dragon could lock the season into winter until it is defeated and things like that. And remember, because Ashes of Creation has the node system, we should see a lot of things like that kind of thing happening. If you've been used to it being summer in the game and everything is all sunshine and rainbows, and then there's this massive blizzard, it would throw you off. You would know something was wrong. So I think there is more to this than simply, look, we got weather and seasons. And by the way, the seasons are set in this area to be roughly a week per season, as long as there's no other force, magic, or otherwise changing that. And it's not just weather in Ashes of Creation. The trees lose their leaves in the fall, grass dies off in the winter, the transitions to different seasons brings complete change to the environments and even affects the creatures themselves. Some creatures may hibernate, others have adapted, and their coats change with the seasons. Spring brings life back to the world with flowers and grass and sunshine and butterflies and bees. And it is details like this in Ashes of Creation that are designed to attach you to the world as you are playing these kind of details stick to you and make you feel like this is a real place and not just some virtual playground. And once again, it's not just about how it makes things look or feel, but there are real gameplay consequences as well. Skills and abilities can be different depending on the season or weather, such as a fire AoE having a larger radius on a really hot day, or an ice spell being more powerful during a blizzard. Pantheon Rise of Fallen is also doing this effect for weather, and I'm all here for it. Ashes of Creation has went on to state that harvesting will be affected by weather because certain things will not grow during the winter season, which means it will have an effect on the economy as well, as certain ing ingredients will raise in price while they can't be harvested. And then they go on to talk about how even traversing the world can change. A mountain pass could be shut down for the winter, but open back up in the spring when everything melts, and this could cause and change how caravans, for example, are able to move goods, and even how you go about running around the world. Now, weaknesses, they also mentioned, is certain monsters will change the way you play in different seasons as well. And then there is the visibility in the different seasons, like if it's a really heavy rain or snowstorm, how far out you can see is restricted by fog. All of these things built into the seasons is a major factor while you'll be playing Ashes of Creation. And I really think Ashes of Creation is nailing this one on the head. And it is looking phenomenal. And honestly, just, just a marvel of technology to be able to seamlessly do 
things like this in an MMORPG. Before we continue, I want to give a shout out to the members of Napalm. Thanks to your contributions, this channel is able to produce the content and get the equipment and gear necessary to keep this channel alive and improving. Thank you! And if you are interested in becoming a member of the channel and helping support my YouTube journey, please click join down below for a list of options starting as low as $1.99 per month. Please, I'm hungry. And I want to give a very special shout out to the Lords of Napalm, Bounty Code, We Toke Bitcoin. Jared Woodhouse, Daimlos, Farthest Reach, Not Sid, Sparrow, Carsony, Christopher Hensel. Thank you for your highest tier membership. Now on to the video. So what we are looking at, in my opinion, is a new shift in making virtual worlds. With the two MMORPGs coming out, at least the two major ones, I'm looking forward to Ashes of Creation and Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, and both of them looking at whether it's more than a simple visual effect. I think this is one of the new revelations for virtual worlds and MMORPGs, and something that will hopefully, and I really think it will, catch on and become the normal. And at the very least, will spoil us that are playing Ashes of Creation or Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, who is doing much of these same things in their MMO as well. I think this sets a beautiful pace and just another reason to be excited for what we have over the horizon. But I'm really interested to hear what you think about all this as well, so don't forget to drop a comment down below. I do read all the comments. Now, with massive effects from the seasons, and mix that in with the agencies the players can have to impact the area or areas with nodes and server events, and I think we have a true winning alchemical recipe here for some exciting gameplay opportunities. Ashes of Creation will continue to be covered here on the Nathan Napalm channel as we move closer to Alpha 2. If you are new here, please consider subscribing for more MMO content. We also cover RPGs in general, including tabletop CRPGs and JRPGs. And coming up on Saturday nights, starting on June 4th, a new kind of entertainment called Cringe Pony TV, which will be a Saturday night stream special. Think of it of a late night kind of adult swim, but with MMO jokes and parodies. And I I hope you will join me for the launch of that, along with daily streams kicking off on June 2nd, when I go full-time here on YouTube. Hit that like to help with the YouTube algorithm, and if you'd like to give a one-time kind of special thanks to me, you can click the super thanks down below for that as well. And until next time, my friends, God bless, and happy gaming.